What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new uh, video. Today we got a video with the M416. You can unlock this gun right now, it came with the update 3.1. I'll be showing the uh, best attachments for this gun later on in this video, so stick around if you want to know what attachments I recommend using to make this gun as best as it possibly can be. In order for you to unlock this gun, you need to get 100 kills with the PBX and 60 assault rifle kills or revives uh, you can do this versus ai as well by the way if you want to unlock this gun quickly if you haven't yet but those are the two challenges you need to do to unlock this weapon i got some highlights for you guys the gun is pretty good i wouldn't say it's great at all it's like a pretty kind of an average weapon to be completely honest i think it's good at specific uh things like it can beam players it doesn't have a lot of recoil and it can be pretty consistent at uh, long range gunfights i really enjoyed uh, going for longer range gunfights with this gun it kind of sucks uh, with taking out multiple enemies uh, with one mag i could maybe get like two three players on ma one mag for reloading and because it's a vault weapon you don't have that much ammunition unfortunately and then the gun is just kind of all right definitely worth a try if you like these type of weapons uh maybe a little bit more defensive playstyle it's recommended with this gun sitting on head glitches beaming players because the recoil is very uh, doable and it can kill players pretty quickly it's just not very good up close and you're burning through ammo pretty quickly with this gun so i got some highlights for you guys to show you how i play with this weapon and some nice kill streaks and flanks and then at the end of the video i'll be showing the attachments enjoy I heard a sniper on my right. They're making us pay for every inch of game here. I'm surviving more right now. Give me a nice streak and I run out of bullets. Unfortunately, this game will um, connect you to your region and nothing but your region. I don't know if you can do it. I don't know how that would work on console. Though. That flick, dude. Double kill. Reloading! I'm reloading! 
Look how many bullets that requires with the fault weapon as well. That's like a, such a waste of bullets, dude. That is such a waste of bullets. Uh, I kind of want to keep the streak going. Let's get some bullets back. More smoke, I guess. Why not? Ammo. And I'm almost dead. I don't know if this thing can still explode. I can't see a thing. Oh, so many explosions, dude. That's a risky spot to go for revives. I'm afraid there's gonna be more behind me. But no, I should have waited for the reload to finish. Thank you for the revive, dude. Appreciate it. I think there's a player there. There's a guy under the bridge. There's a guy under the bridge. Oh, dude, there was so much going on, dude. <laughs> attacking team is going to be pretty good. I can already tell. Need a second to reload. We are attacking Alpha 1. Tango down. Almost shot a C5 there by accident. Like they add a friend from West Coast and they host the game. So they get into West Coast servers, which seem to be a lot more fun for them.
I burned through my bullets again, dude. Yeah, I just I hate the way ten, the, the tank gameplay in this, in this game is just like it's just boring. At least that's how I feel about it. Take it, Sector Charlie. I'll take a bonus kill, you know. I'm not gonna complain. Kind of beaming here. Our attack on Charlie One is underway. I think that's a dog. No, I, I usually shoot the ground instead of self heal. For some reason with the input on console, uh, self heal doesn't always work. Russians are now yes. occupying an objective. Our troops continue to hold off the Russian attack. busy dude so 40 attachments because it's a vault weapon again you don't have too many options uh, the sides are actually wrong I use the reflex side here I had the wrong sides right there so uh, you will see some clips with the holographic and the 3.4 uh, sides but I was mainly using the reflex side and sometimes the cobra side uh, but these are the sides I look uh, I enjoyed using I think the holographic side is definitely worth a try because the gun is definitely more for a uh, medium to longer range you kind of want to have, have a little bit more of a zoom so the holographic side was actually surprisingly nice to use. Then I have the laser side, um, which I wouldn't recommend if you struggle to control the Rico. I use the laser side to make this gun a little bit more viable from uh, any range pretty much. So uh, the laser side could be good for hip firing up close because um, I wasn't really struggling with the recoil on this gun. If you struggle with the recoil, then uh, use the foregrip, especially because I actually do like to use the heavy barrel, which will increase the vertical recoil. I have the heavy barrel on by default. 95% of the clips in this video were with heavy barrel as well. Definitely recommend that. I uh, haven't really used the silencer. I always have a suppressor as backup. Uh, but it reduces the effective range, so I didn't really enjoy using that. And since I don't really use the gun up close that much, I didn't really bother using the presser that much. But it's mainly heavy barrel, laser sight, and then I switch around the sights quite a bit. So yeah, those are the attachments that I use. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next one.